Hi guys, I'm Mark and today I'm going to be pitting $300 active noise cancelling headphones against $300 true wireless earbuds. Which are better value for money? Are they really comparable or are they just two different beasts entirely? Let's jump right in. Both offer the best of the best sound quality and build quality. Both charge via a high speed USB-C connection. They both have touch controls. Both are compatible with Google Assistant and they both offer great noise cancellation though in slightly differing ways which we'll get into shortly. But with all that being said, there's actually a bunch of differences that you definitely need to know about first. So let's get started with round one. My first impressions of both products was actually awesome. The matte black finish of the Sony's and the fabric covered case of the Sennheiser's both instantly present a premium feel without question. Now, those soft leather like ear pads do make for an incredibly comfortable listening experience, especially during prolonged periods like during flights, long journeys, but even still, they're comfortable, but the pressure of having something squishing your ears for several hours will eventually catch up with you and you'll likely find yourself needing to take a break. With the Sennheisers, there's obviously none of that to worry about. They're an entirely different design. And as long as you choose the correct size ear tip to suit your ear, you can happily wear these for even longer periods than the Sony's I found. I'm gonna give round one to the Sennheisers just purely for being able to have them in and barely being able to feel like they're there at all while still getting a nice secure fit. In round two, we're looking at battery life. And whilst the situation is slightly different for both products, one thing we can compare is playback time. So the Sennheiser Momentums offer four hours of playback in one sitting, with the charging case offering an additional eight hours, so that's 12 hours in total. However, the Sony's offer a whopping 30 hours in one sitting, and, and that is with AMC on, by the way. Um, no stopping to charge them or anything. So that has to be a resounding victory to Sony in round two in terms of battery life. Before we get to sound quality, let's quickly compare latency in both products in round three by taking a look under the hood at their differing Bluetooth codecs because a lot of you guys always ask me about latency. The Sennheiser Momentums use Qualcomm aptX low latency, which severely reduces the audio visual lag when you're doing things like watching YouTube videos, gaming, and getting the audio fed through your earbuds. aptX low latency has a bit rate of 352 kilobytes per second, which not only means less audiovisual lag, but it's actually what allows for that high quality audiophile level sound quality overall. But before you run out and buy the Sennheiser Momentums based on that information, I just want to drop in that the Sony's use the Sony exclusive LDAC codec, which can transfer up to 990 kilobytes a second, which is an extreme improvement over Aptex low latency, which is already pretty damn awesome. So that means audio visual lag is essentially a thing of the past, as well as allowing for an even higher sound quality. So round three actually just simply came down to numbers, which means that Sony wins this round as well, with the score now being 2-1 in Sony's favor so far. But does Sony's higher bitrate codec then mean an instant forfeit for Sennheiser in round four, where we'll be comparing sound quality? Well, yes and no, audio visual lag aside, they are still surprisingly neck and neck in terms of sound quality. Well, how is that possible? Well, it's likely that that's because listening to music through common sources like Apple Music, Spotify, they just simply aren't high enough quality files that you're listening to in the first place to really push the limits of either product. But you know what? I'm gonna let you guys decide for yourself. Bear in mind that this isn't the perfect sound test as the Sony's emit sound from a much wider area, which is kind of harder to capture on a small microphone, but let's take a listen. And now here's the Sennheiser Momentums.
there really isn't a whole lot in it at all. And I know that sounds like I'm sitting on the fence, but I just can't say that either one is lacking in sound quality in any way at all. The Sonys tend to lean towards being slightly heavier on the bass, which I personally prefer, whereas the Sennheisers are much more balanced overall. I have to say though, at full volume, the Sonys definitely have the edge, where the Sennheisers start to lose a little clarity on the mids and highs. Also, with Sonys at full volume, I know it sounds crazy, but you can actually feel the bass physically vibrating on your ears, which just trust me, you need to try it. So yeah, I guess that's round four to the Sony's once again, although it actually was a much closer fight than I thought it would be. Round five is all about noise cancellation, and let's be real here, let's cut to the chase. Active noise cancellation could never be beaten by the passive noise cancellation of true wireless earbuds. The Sony's have some of the best active noise cancellation of any AMC headphones on the market, so it kind of goes without saying that they wipe the floor in this round as well. But that is now 4-1 to the Sonys, and there's only one more round left to go. Our final round looks at microphone quality, overall functionality, and touch controls. Okay, so let's put the microphone quality of the Sennheisers to the test, shall we? So here's my voice memo recorded through the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earbuds, which I have in now. It is a little robotic sounding, I'm sure you'll agree, but much better than a lot of the budget wireless earbuds that I've tested recently. Here's a little background noise, see how much you can hear my voice over I think these are actually pretty good in that respect. Um, we'll find out what the Sony's are like in a second. Got them on, this is the microphone, how it sounds. Recording voice note into my phone. How does it sound to you guys? In my opinion, this sounds noticeably better, but yeah, it's not good enough to record anything professional or anything, but certainly pretty overkill for a simple phone call. But I have to say, they do pick up a lot of background noise and much more than any true wireless earbuds which is something I have found with um, over-ear headphones. They do pick up a lot of background noise. Functionality-wise, both products have touch controls, although in slightly different ways. The Sennheisers operate with a single touch on each earbud, whereas the Sony sport this whole swiping gesture system, which you do on the right ear cup. Whilst the gestures are pretty futuristic, the ear cup pad is pretty unnecessarily large, so it's way too easy to accidentally pause or skip track or whatever by accident. I also love that the Sennheisers pause playback when you remove one earbud, so that's another massive tick for the Sennheisers here too. It's something that you don't actually see on true wireless earbuds all that much. So I'm gonna call round six a draw, as while Sony's mic was significantly better, I'm not a massive fan of the gesture swiping currently. So that leaves the final score at 5-2 in Sony's favor, and whilst that might seem like a total whitewash that makes the Sennheisers look like garbage and they're not worth the money, that's definitely not what I'm trying to do here, and that's definitely not true. I think it's amazing that the Sennheisers managed to cram so many features that the Sony's have, albeit not quite as good in every aspect, but cramming them all into two tiny little earbuds that still compete with something 10 times the size with so much more physical space to house higher end technology. Okay, Mark, so they're both great. So which should I buy? I know it sounds difficult, but the answer here isn't actually too difficult at all. It's actually simply a matter of how you, yes, you plan to use them in your everyday life. So will you be using these to work out, for example? quite regularly? If so, even despite the Sony's undeniable victories in almost every round, I would say to you, don't buy the Sony's ever. Firstly, they fall off with any excessive movement. It really doesn't take much. And secondly, they make your ears so incredibly hot and sweaty, which is never a nice feeling. I mean, they're like earmuffs. However, if your main use is gonna be at home, sitting stationary whilst commuting, walking around a noisy city, then I wouldn't hesitate to recommend you the Sony's in a heartbeat. The noise cancellation is just so much better at blocking out all of that awful commuter noise pollution on planes, trains, and buses. What I'm trying to say is that in an ideal world, you'd be filthy rich. You just have both and you use them in different situations because that's basically what they're for. But since it's unlikely you can buy both, you really need to just sit and think about which scenario applies to you more and go for the one that better suits your needs, and most importantly, the one that you'll use more frequently. Do me a favor and please give this video a like if it helped you. Make sure you subscribe for tons more tech reviews from your favorite Simon Cowell impressionist. I mean, that is me, according to loads of you in the comments. Um, and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. Simon Cowell will know if you don't do it. Anyway guys, that's all from me. And until next time, Mark, over and out.